Hi there, this is KT Bradford, and I'm here at BlogPer 2012 at the Microsoft booth taking a look at Microsoft's new portable Windows 8 keyboards and mice. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at um, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, how really cool and small they are, and how they're going to work with Windows 8 devices to make the whole mobile computing experience even better. The first keyboard and mouse part I want to show you is the Wedge Mobile Keyboard and the Wedge Touch Mouse. And these two um, aesthetically go together, but you don't necessarily have to use them together and they are sold separately. So the Wedge Mobile Keyboard give you four reasons why I like it. Number one, it is really light. Um, it's lighter than you think it's going to be just by looking at it in pictures. It is very light. So it's great for somebody who does a lot of mobile computing. Um, it's really thin and skinny. And it's nicely designed and it has this little bump back here. And this little bump serves two purposes. Number one, um, it lifts up the keyboard a bit so it's a little more comfortable to type on this, whatever surface you're on. Number two is when you're carrying this around, particularly paired with a tablet, this can act as a little handle. So that's really nice. So I like those things about it. I also like the cover that comes with it. So this cover is made from um, a nice soft rubber. And so once you, when you put it on the keyboard, you know, it protects the keys. It's not going to mess up your keys. But also, if you, like, say, carry your keyboard in conjunction with a tablet or something, this uh, rubber will not, like, scuff up or scratch up your screen. So you can, like, put it in your bag with the tablet. It's not going to get, like, all messed up. You can carry the two together. It's not going to get all scuffed. So I like that about uh, the cover. The cover also doubles as a um, stand. So there you go. You've got like your whole mobile office right there because you've got a keyboard, you've got something to hold up your tablet, and you've got your tablet, and, and you can just go for it. Other things I like about this keyboard is that it has um, these Windows uh, buttons, so you can like press one, search, share, um, settings, and then this is the Windows button that takes you back to the start screen, so it makes it very easy to use Windows 8. This is specifically designed for Windows 8, by the way. So um, all those things are really good about it. In terms of typing, um, it doesn't have like really forceful tactile feedback, but this is uh, a very thin mobile keyboard, so we don't expect that, but um, it's it's not mushy or like hard to type on in terms of like pressing the keys, so I like that. This connects via Bluetooth to uh, Windows devices, and um, it also has a nice power saving feature when, when you put the cover on it, um, it goes to sleep, and so it's saving the battery. So here's the thing that I'm not really happy about with this keyboard is that the keys, as you can see, they're, they're pretty nicely sized, but they're very, very close together. So when you go to type, it feels really cramped. Like my hands just like feel like, err, when I'm trying to type on it. And that can be a problem, especially if you're trying to do a lot of typing on this keyboard. Um, those of you who are used to netbook keyboards might be more willing to deal with this. Um, but let's like, say even the keyboard on my Samsung NC10 is a little more roomy and comfortable than this. Um, and, you know, hunt and peck typers probably not going to be as, as annoyed by this as people who touch type. So that's just a warning for you. But, you know, other than that aspect, um, there are a lot of really nice things about this keyboard that I really like. All right, so next up is the Wedge Touch mouse. And this mouse is very tiny. It's sometimes hard to even tell from the pictures how tiny it is. But like, look, it fits into the cradle of my palm. It's, it's, so it's great for, for mobile people. I really am liking this shape, the whole wedge theme uh, going on here. And then down here just has a couple of buttons, you know, for pairing it up with Bluetooth, turning it on and off, etc. So it's really nice. It comes with blue track technology, so you should be able to use this on any surface. And um, it has two buttons, obviously, Windows mouse, two buttons, but it also, um, I don't know if you can see on the screen there, yeah, it has four-way scroll so that um, you don't have to lift your hand off of the mouse or drag to, like, move this screen around. You can just use the four-way scroll to do it and to do some multi-touch gestures. So that's really nice. I like that Microsoft has developed that, um, those features for, for mice so that, you know, you can more easily get around a tablet environment. Um, 
the thing that I don't like about this is that because it's so small, it's like not quite comfortable to use. Like if I'm gonna put my hand on it, like so that it fits, so that the arch is in my palm, my fingers are way over here. And so I have to sort of use it like this, and this is like not super comfortable, and I'm not sure if I could get used to using it. So if you only use the mouse for occasional things, like, um, you know, precision clicking, etc., this would probably be okay, but if you're like, a, like always using the mouse, like even with your tablet, you're gonna always be using the mouse, this may be not what you want in a mouse, in a mobile mouse. Now this next keyboard is called the Sculpt Mobile Keyboard and you can probably see why it's called the Sculpt because it has like this nice, you know, sort of swoop to it. Um, it recalls the ergonomic keyboards of old and it actually is way more comfortable to type on than the wedge keyboard that I just showed you. Part of it is because of the swoop and, and just like there's space between these keys and so it's just, you know, it feels good. It feels like something that I would do a long typing session on, uh, which is definitely nice. This also is made to work with Windows 8 specifically. It is uh, Bluetooth connected and it will go to sleep when um, the, the device goes to sleep, which is nice. It's got this Windows key for getting back to the start screen easily. Um, unfortunately, uh, a lot of the, the functions for controlling multimedia, getting to uh, the Windows 8 charms, etc., is under a, a function key, so you have to press two keys in order to get to it. Eh, I'm not, you know, so happy about that. I like the wedge better, where it's just one press. But, you know, that's a minor thing. Now, uh, this is also a pretty thin device. Let's go around the whole thing to show you what it looks like. And uh, it's, it is fairly light, like especially for something that's of this size. But as you can see, it's a little bit wider than this 11.6 inch uh, tablet here, but also just sort of fits nicely. Like they look at those two together, like they look like they go together, which is very nice. So um, this is a little less mobile than the wedge, but uh, it, you know, if you need to do a lot of typing when you're mobile, you know, this is probably the better choice, especially if you're a touch typist. It doesn't come with a fancy cover. It doesn't come with, you know, a stand or anything. So this is actually made more for people who are like occasionally mobile. But I think that ultra mobile people might appreciate what's going on here more. So this mouse right here is the Sculpt Touch that um, is aesthetically paired with the Sculpt keyboard that I just showed you. And uh, again, very similar to the Wedge mouse. It has four-way scrolling, um, connects via Bluetooth, goes to sleep when the device goes to sleep. You know, a lot of the same features. It's just like a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfortable. I've had it um, in my hand like once and, and that was a good, it's a good choice. But again, because it's not like very tiny, it may not count as ultra mobile, but it's definitely still mobile.